In the kingdom of glory, he gives eternal life. Let us go to Hebrews, where we started. Hebrews chapter 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed this about with so great a cloud of witnesses. What, what cloud of witnesses is this talking about? Remember, this is chapter 12. So what came before that? Chapter 11. What is chapter 11? The big faith chapter, right? All these people, that's who it's talking about, right? Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. What is the sin that does so easily beset us? Pride. 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 Isn't it, isn't it that for you? Because I know it's that for me. I might die. Is that working? Okay. Um, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. It really is. Self-dependence. So, Self-dependence, right. You know? It, 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 when they were standing on the mountain, or next to the mountain, and they were talking to God, and God had given them the commandments and everything, and they said, all that the Lord has said, we will do. We will do. <laughs> how, how well did that work out for them? I believe it was the right spirit, but the wrong dependence. The dependence has to be on Jesus. If we lay it all at his feet, he can carry the load. We cannot carry the load, although we may think we can. We cannot. Looking... Well, let me finish this. Let me read it again. Wherefore, seeing we are, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Run with patience. Endurance. Endurance. I'm thinking... Giddy. <laughs> Looking unto the Lord, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Brothers and sisters, there's the man, Christ Jesus, who sits at the right hand of the throne of God. This place that was laid the lowest will one day be the highest. Mm -hmm. Glory be to the Lord God, mm -hmm. His precious Son, Jesus. I hope and pray that as you uh, contemplate anything about this message today, that you would try to break free of preconceived notions. Because we all, we, we even come to the Bible with all these biases, you know? We, we really need to pray before we really even open the Bible to, to have the understanding. Because there's still so much in here that we haven't even mined out. And how many years have people been looking through this precious book? A long time. And it's still full of stuff we haven't even gleaned yet. <laughs> and we can't glean it. If we're stuck in all these preconceived notions that we really think we know something. Mm -hmm. We need to be like these little children. Right? Believing and looking. Not thinking that you know anything. Right? Because if you come to something like a little child, how do you think they, they learn so fast? How do you think they grow so quickly? Because their minds are clouded with all this bias. They're thirsty. They're like sponges. They're learning. You know, I, they come to it as a little child. Like Jesus says, what does he say about faith? 
as like a little child, right? Why does he say that? Because your mind isn't all clouded up. You're open, you're fresh, you don't believe you know anything. You want to be instructed as a little child. That's where we need to be. And when you're, do, do, do you see children full of pride? Well, maybe. <laughs> but um, for the most part, in their, their thought processes of learning, they're, they're not prideful. They don't believe they know it all. Right? That's where we need to be. And Jesus can bless them amazingly. Our closing song will be 290. 290.